Hi, I'm Mr. Sonic Nevitz, and this is an unboxing and overview of the Captain America uh, Death of Cap Omnibus. Plus a, a little bonus thing I had to tag on for free shipping. So like the, um, whatchamacallit, Books of Magic, this was also one I had to get a replacement for. Like I did the whole thing, like I had the camera and then I opened it and I'm like, this is just damaged a ton. Not much point in me going over it. So I scrapped it because I'm like, this is just me being upset for 20 minutes. So let's see a, a new one. Yeah, this is, these have been packaged way better than the first time. It's the foam inserts. All right, here we go. I forgot how thin this omnibus is. It is a thin boy. Alright, put that aside there. Come on, man. Alright, there's that. And then this. Okay, whew, that looks kind of hit on the inside, so I'm glad. <laughs> so let's uh, let's do this little one out of the way for, oh, shoot. Oh, that's not really hit, that's just like, so So this has like some weird glue that ha didn't go flat when it was uh, printed, which isn't really a big deal. I can try to buff that out with my, uh, my bone folder. Yeah. It's like weird extra glue that's like made the thing not flat. But yeah, it's good there. Good oh yeah, this is Project Superpowers, Omnibus Volume 1. This is uh, Alex Ross's creation, I, I'm pretty sure. With, uh, what was his name? Doug. Or no, never mind. Jim, is it Jim? Excuse me. Jim Kruger? Yes, Jim Kruger and Alex Ross. And then Kruger does the artwork. Or, no, sorry. It's Edgar Saladol does the artwork, and it's awesome artwork. So I have really no idea what the series is about. I just love the cover. Like, I love the Alex Ross, like that black and red dude. I have no idea who that is, but the cover really intrigued me. So I needed something to break free shipping and I added this on there anyways. But yeah, pretty cool. It's a, it's a dynamite property. Binding looks all right. It's a paperback, so of course it can't really, you know, I mean, I could, like, whew, but then I'd crack the spine and not really want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, it looks okay. Aside from this thing, which I can buff out, so. All right. Set that aside there. Here we go. The death of Captain America Omnibus. Look how tiny this thing is. Like, dang. Uh, let me see. Looks all right. Yeah, there's 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 one lack. So the first three cap omnibus omnibus for by Brubaker were out of print forever, for forever. And uh, so they reprinted volume one. This is volume two essentially, and the volume three is Cap Lives, which that will not be an individual like overview. I, that's coming in one of my pre-orders. I think it comes out in November. So that that because basically how it works is I get my pre-orders like the first week of the following month. So like September's. Right, so everything that came out that I wanted in September, I'll get first week of October usually. Because they, they ship it, like, the, the last... Because, like, the stuff that comes out, like, that Tuesday, they, like, set aside, and they package it all together at the end of the month. Or the last Tuesday of the month, and then they ship it that week. So, I usually get it October-ish, or uh, first week-ish of that following month. Oh, yeah. So, DM cover, of course. There's the dust jacket. Yeah, this, is, I had to get another copy of it, because uh, the one I got initially, like, something had went like this, just like, fully hard on, so like, this was dented in, like, right here was like, dented in, like, really bad, like a V. 
Oh, it was, I was pretty disappointed, but hey, this new copy looks all right. Yep, we're all good. Oh yeah, sorry. So there's the regular cover, DM cover, which is what I have. Da, da, da. So let's see, this is an IMAC offset book, so I'm not expecting much. I can hear that glue give, trying to give. Yeah, this is a, this is a crazy tiny omnibus. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, so there you go. Not much give at all. But with something this small, it's actually not a super big deal because if you can look, there's roll, but there's no real gutter loss because of how small this is. It's like basically a uh, a thicker standard over or not standard oversized hardcover like they do for like Immortal Hulk and Daredevil and stuff with their modern stuff. That's literally what this looks like, just like one of those books, but a little bit bigger. But yeah, looks uh. Well, yeah, it looks alright. I think, I mean, unlike those, I'm pretty sure this is sewn. If I can, can I even see under there? Let me see if any light comes through. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this is include because uh, it comes off off the back. If I do this enough, I can kind of see a little eye forming. But yeah, something like this where it's not big enough to actually really get gutter roll at all. So I don't, I don't mind it at all. But yeah. Looks good. Yeah, like even on, let me try to find a two-page spread. Maybe then I'll change my mind. Is there a two-page spread I have? Ooh. Let me look at the papers. Kind of thin. Or er, whoa. Dang, you can see right through that, even in the light. Like I'm not shining light on it. Like, dang, that's annoying. Yeah. So paper's thin enough that the next page shows up if the color is is the right color. So like on these pages, the colors are so like on these pages, the color is dark enough. But like something like let's see if I can find it. Come on. Something like here. I don't know if it's noticeable. You can kind of see the next page, uh, like a, a head right there. Let me try to man, there really there's no single like two page spread. Give me a splash page, man. So I can look. Here we go. We're just going. We're just going. Dang. Brew Baker does not like splash pages. Splash page. Splash page. Splash page. No splash pages. Splash page. Nope. Da 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 da. Splash page. Do splash pages exist in this entire thing? Hello? I guess not. Oh wait, that might be one. That? No. So yeah, I, I can't say what it's like with the splash page because I can't find a single one. Hmm. But yeah, anyways, that's uh, still pretty good. Um, feels good. Like the Imac books, actually, I don't. I really like how um, they're done normally. Like, in compared to like how the R Donnelly are doing it. I like Imac, like uh, the new JMS Volume Two, like another printing of it. It was an Imac book, which uh, got has a rounded spine instead of a a flat one, and actually opens better because of that. But anyways, this was Captain America: The Death of Cap Omnibus, and uh, a little smaller thing of Project Superpowers right there. Unboxing and overview. And thank you for watching.